This is not a jobs bill, and I look forward for a legislative session that came in talking about we need to get people back to work to seeing that first jobs bill actually come through this legislature. We also have to be clear, as Representative Carlson said, that this is, there is no gag on talking about nuclear power in this state. That's another myth that's being perpetuated um, uh, by proponents of this bill. Whether or not to lift the moratorium is a different question, but it let's at least do it on the facts and not on mythology. It's also worth noting that Governor Dayton has been clear about his concerns on this bill. One of them was addressed with an earlier amendment, but there are two other concerns. And if we are going to work bipartisanly uh, to move forward on legislation, uh, I would hope, uh, and I'm disappointed that this legislature did not heed what uh, uh, Governor Dayton said would be a, a suitable bill for him uh, with protections for taxpayers and ratepayers to make sure that this bill can go ho forward. So the bottom line on this bill, members, Hardworking families in Minnesotans uh, are already paying enough for our energy. We shouldn't, be, we, should be on, uh, we shouldn't be putting them on the hook for the chances of a nuclear disaster. We shouldn't be putting them on the hook for rates, uh, for paying for construction and other fees and costs that actually may never lead to the building of a nuclear plant that's happened in other states. I'd rather that we be standing with the ratepayers and taxpayers of Minnesota instead of corporate investors. 